Hi folks and welcome to this Pomsey Custom video. So this is what it looked like in the video I did on my Skyrocket collection. Got the pouch made in the body for putting a gel pack that I can heat up and got fresh copper tape put on the head and the back for the touch sensors and now as you can see I've started working on the fur. So I've got the fur done on the body and on the top of the head and on the side of the head. So the next thing to do is to put another piece of this brown fur on this side of the head. And this is what it looks like turned inside out with that next piece of fur pinned on. So I've got that piece sewn on now and turned on the right side and I've also cut a piece of white fur and sewn one side of the zip to it and sewing the other side to the brown fur. So next I'll cut another piece of white fur and sew it to the other side of the zip and brown fur. So I've cut the piece of white fur now and pinned it to the zip and to the brown fur of the body. So I'll sew that next. So that's sewn together now and the zip is functioning. And I've also made and sewn on the tail. So this is what it looks like. So the next thing to work on is the legs. But before working with the fur, I need to make some paw pads. So I've made this paw pad out of polymer clay and I'm going to make a two-part silicon putty mould from it next. So I used two-part silicon putty to make my moulds. At first I was using easy mould, but now I use a much cheaper brand. So what you do with two-part silicon putty is you weigh out equal parts and then you mix it together until it's swirl free so the two colours have blended completely and then you press it on to the item that you want to take the mould of and you've got to do that very quickly because it starts setting in just a few minutes and then you leave it for a further 20 minutes and then it comes off just like that and you've got your mould so I've made this mould and now I can work with my latex to make the paw pads. So the brand of latex I got was Trust Leaf and I mixed the latex with some acrylic paint to give a pink colour. So I use some white and some red and mix it together with latex until I get the colour that I want. And then I build that up in thin layers with a paintbrush, allowing each layer to dry fully before doing the next layer. And this is what the paw pad turned out like. Very pleased with that. So next I need to glue it into the fur. So the paw pads on my last model were made out of silicon. And so I had to sew those in because you can't use glue on silicon. But with these paw pads, I was able to just cut holes in the fur for the pads to show through and then use super glue to glue the pads onto the fur. So that made it a lot easier. And this is it next to the silicon pour pad, so just as good, if not better, and a lot easier to make. So I've made all four legs now, 
and those are all stuffed so those will go on the model once I've got the face on it and the last thing I need to do before I do the face is to make some ears and I'm going to make them the same as I made them for Peaky only with the cocoa fur on the top and the white underneath so I've got both the ears made now So that's everything completed now, except the face. So this was the first face that I made for this model that you saw at the beginning of the video. And when I put the short flock on it, I made a mistake. When I put the long flock on, I cover all the area you can see here, but I got mixed up. And I put the short block on because that should have gone around the muzzle as well. So I made that mistake. But I also thought it looked a bit grumpy. And I fancy doing something completely new. So I've made this face. So I really like this one that I've made. I like the expression on it. And I'm going to cover this with short flock today. So I'm going to cover... All of it with short flock, apart from the nose, which I've obviously done in a different colour, and the mouth. So on this one I've made a slightly opening mouth, so I'm going to leave that pink and flock around it. So I'll put the short flock on, and then we'll see what that looks like. And this is how we flock our latex parts. We apply adhesive to the parts that we want to be covered with flock and then we use an electrostatic machine to do the flocking and this is what it looks like with the short flock on really really cute i think that's looking lovely so next we have to put the long flock on so fingers crossed that this will work because it doesn't always so we've put the long flock on and i am absolutely delighted as it has worked perfectly paul's put some little gel things in the packet with the long flock that take moisture out of the air so maybe that was what did it maybe We've had trouble before because there's been too much moisture around the flock but yes it worked brilliantly today and on the other face um, we were able to fill in the bit that I'd missed the first time round of the short flock on the cheeks and then we've done the rest of the face with long flock uh, seeing as it was working so well and yeah great result with that one as well so i've got the face glued on now i've not glued the fur around the face yet but i have got the face glued onto the body <coughs> so far so good so now i've got to glue the fur down onto the face yeah. and there it is glued in place I just have to use some thin glue to glue down a little bit of this flock that's come away and round the nose and then I can move on to put the ears on unfortunately when I tried to glue down that little bit of loose flock I made it a lot worse so just have to chalk that one down to experience but i have finished the first ear and this is what it looks like i'm really pleased with that it looks super cute so now i'll sew the other ear on and here's the other ear sewn on 
I really like how it looks. It goes lovely with the face. So now that I've got the ears put on, I can move on to the legs. So I'm going to start with one of the front legs. So I've got one of the front legs sewn on now. That's what it looks like from the side. And that's what it looks like underneath. So I'll do the other front leg now. And here he is with his other front leg finished. So I just need to work on the back legs now. He's got a much more bristly face, Coco, hasn't he? Coco is finished. There's his back feet. And this is what he looks like from the side. He's super cute, isn't he? Mm, bristly little chap. Nose. This is the first time I've stroked him and he's purred. Oh, he stopped again. He's not a purry uh, pomsy. No. Like uh, Peaky. Facially, they're quite different, aren't they? One of the main differences with Coco, of course, is that I've added the gel pack. I can heat up. I did find that I couldn't really feel the heat coming through. So I'd made it this sort of pouch that would go inside, but I find it's better to lie it outside of that pouch or I just can't feel the heat coming through. So on a future model, I would make that differently. I can actually sort of pose him so you can have a sitting position as well, which is quite nice. I thought he might give me a kiss, but he hasn't. Oh, gave you a kiss. Coco's just gone to sleep. Does Coco give kisses? I'm not trying getting Coco to give me a kiss. But you gotta you gotta put your not on his mouth a little bit higher up. No. He's not very affectionate, is he? He doesn't purr much and he doesn't give kisses like Peaky. But he looks nice. <laughs> So I'm very pleased in, at how Coco's turned out. Got a bit of company now, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> and the next project that I'm working on is the one we're working on together, which is the, oh, the present pet. Present pets. Uh... Yeah, the present pet combination mm, of the mm, Pomsey. Mm. Um, you, we've been working on some switches today. In the ears, yeah. Each, the each ears. ear's got a switch mm. in. Mm. So, the next part in that project will be coming soon. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.